it's difficult to screen um, because we don't really know what to screen for. Um, if we screen for fevers, we miss a lot of cases that way. Um, the SARS experience told us that um, screening at borders or at airports doesn't necessarily catch as many patients as we would like. How does this virus differ from uh, SARS and H1N1? It's very similar to SARS in that it fits into the family of viruses called coronaviruses. It's different than influenza. Influenza is a different virus altogether. We know a lot more about influenza. Influenza circulates seasonally, um, and that pandemic strain in 2009 was a different strain that caused a severe outbreak and pandemic around the world. The coronavirus that's currently circulating is a new coronavirus. At the same time, coronaviruses are common viruses as well that circulate in the community every year. The common cold, for example, is caused by um, a coronavirus amongst others. Um, th what's notable about this one is that it's A, it's new, and B, it's more severe than obviously the common cold. Um, about 1%, depending on how you look at the numbers of the people who get this, will end up dying. If people are asked to self-isolate, we've seen quite a bit of that, what happens to their family members who live with them? That's a good question. Um, and so public health policies differ across every jurisdiction on that exact question. Um, and some places will restrict access to that individual and keep them separate. Some places will keep them at home with their families with close monitoring of the families for symptoms and some very sort of strict precautions within the household. No sharing meals, hand washing, all those things, sleeping in different rooms. Should we prepare to keep our kids home from school, stock up on supplies, that kind of stuff? Um, not yet. Uh, right now, Canada is well positioned. Um, we're keeping track of things across the world, and with only the handful of cases here, there's nothing really more to do. Is there any reason why we haven't seen many young people uh, contract this virus? It's a, it's a fascinating question, yeah. and no one has an answer. Once again, we're learning more and more with every single child that gets infected. Children seem to be protected both from incidents of having the disease as well as severity of the disease. Does the current flu shot help in any way? It does, no question. And one of our most important <coughs> recommendations to get your flu shot, nothing to do with helping you against coronavirus. Um, it's a completely different vaccine. That being said, protecting yourself against the flu, which has very similar symptoms as coronavirus, particularly right now during flu season, a will help the health system sort of figure you out because you're more, less likely to have the flu if you come in with flu-like symptoms. Should traveling to the USA be avoided? Um, not yet. The USA does not have any sustained human-to-human -human transmission chains that we don't have track of. There's been a case or two um, recently of patients who've been reported to be positive without a clear link to another case or a region of interest. Um, and so those are being worked on by the authorities down there, but it's not at a point where the U.S. becomes a travel restricted place. How about travel to Mexico? Is it yeah. safe to travel to Mexico? Yeah. There's, at this point, there's no reason not to. How far off until the vaccine might be ready? <laughs> Difficult to say. Um, things are being sort of actively worked on, a lot of money and a lot of attention on the subject. Obviously, that would be the best solution, um, but most likely a year.